We are water as part of our ecosystems. It's seen as a commodity by some, but it's seen as a right by others. You don't manage it like you do oil or wheat, and, and that's what's so special about it. Water is the air, water is clouds, water is our bodies. Drinking water, water in a lake and a river. Global Water Futures came about because of uh, extreme needs uh, to deal with water security concerns across Canada with respect to our changing climate, but also our growing population, growing development and water pollution problems that have been around for many decades. So if the water's not well, the humans around that water are not going to be well. Life as human beings, that we're at the crossroads. We found that no scientific meeting in Canada had gone to a First Nation territory for its meeting before. Every decision we make is not for ourselves, but for the seventh generation. So maybe looking at the way in which our people have accumulated knowledge of our environment over a thousand years might help shape science. And that's the really exciting part about all of this. So what we're doing here is uh, we're starting the reconciliation of science uh, from Western science with indigenous science. You know, this is probably for most of them the first time they've ever set foot on a reserve. Actually be part of an indigenous community, even if only for a day, is an actual, like an amazing opportunity. It's something that should be incorporated into all of our projects and our communication strategies. I think the whole point too of this GWF conference is to show that we, we can work together. They're just different ways of knowing. We're not on different sides. I think water connects all of us, and everybody here has a personal story as to how water's influenced their life. A big part of Global Water Futures is understanding how, how to maintain water sustainability in a changing climate in the Canadian and international landscape. We have a lot of people that have been doing this in our respective regions, and this allows us to put our experience, our shared experience, our shared data together to really come up with bigger solutions in a pan-Canadian context. What we're doing with this conference is starting to look at the progress of Global Water Futures across Canada. There are 33 projects and six core teams and they're starting to really pump out the scientific results. Uh, the most important uh, part of this uh, initiative is how we can transfer like the scientific outcomes in a way that uh, stakeholders and users can understand that. Science is for people. And then we're also looking at how we can interact with international organizations such as the United Nations and its uh, various entities and the World Climate Research Program so we can take what we're learning in Canada for solving these problems and bring that out to the world. The real value of Global Water Futures and meetings like this is interacting with all of the different people who have expertise that can help us solve these problems. So the way we're going to make this change is going to come from the grassroots level with people that have the ability to look, you know, have some forward thinking along with new students and all of that because we have a lot to share.